Dear Congregation, Today, we embark on a journey into the celestial realm, exploring the fascinating world of angels as depicted in the King James Version of the Bible. These heavenly beings play crucial roles in God's divine plan, serving as messengers, protectors, and agents of His will. Let us delve into the scriptures to uncover the various types of angels and their significance in our lives. Seraphim, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1 3. In the year that King Uzziah died I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. The seraphim are described as celestial beings with six wings, standing in the presence of God's glory and proclaiming his holiness. These majestic beings exemplify the reverence and adoration that all creation owes to the Almighty. Their role is to worship and magnify the splendor of God, inspiring us to offer Him our highest praise and devotion. Cherubim, Genesis chapter 3 verse 24. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way, to keep the way of the tree of life. Cherubim are often depicted as guardians or protectors, stationed at the entrance of the Garden of Eden after the expulsion of Adam and Eve. With their flaming swords, they symbolize the divine authority and sovereignty of God, preserving the sanctity of His presence. As we encounter trials and temptations, may we find comfort in the assurance that God's heavenly hosts stand ready to defend and safeguard His children. Archangels, Jude chapter 1 verse 9. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. Archangels are powerful beings entrusted with significant tasks, such as battling spiritual forces and delivering divine messages. Michael, the archangel mentioned in Jude, is portrayed as a warrior who contends with the devil while exercising humility and reverence toward God. Through their exemplary obedience and unwavering faith, archangels inspire us to stand firm in the face of spiritual warfare, knowing that victory belongs to the Lord. Guardian Angels, Psalm chapter 91 verse 11 12. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Guardian Angels are tasked with watching over God's children, offering protection and guidance in times of need. As referenced in Psalm chapter 91, these heavenly beings are entrusted with the responsibility of ensuring the safety and well-being of believers. Though unseen, their presence provides comfort and assurance, reminding us that we are never alone in our journey through life's challenges. Ministering Spirits, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. According to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, angels are described as ministering spirits sent by God to serve those who will inherit salvation. Their role encompasses various forms of assistance, including delivering messages, providing protection, and offering comfort to believers. As recipients of God's grace and salvation, may we remain open to the ministry of angels, recognizing their role in fulfilling God's purposes in our lives. Heavenly Hosts, Luke chapter 2 verse 13, 14. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The heavenly hosts, as depicted in the account of Jesus' birth in Luke chapter 2, are a vast assembly of angels who proclaim God's glory and announce the arrival of the Savior. Their presence signifies the culmination of God's redemptive plan for humanity, bringing tidings of peace and goodwill to all. As we reflect on the significance of the heavenly hosts, may we be reminded of the profound impact of God's love and mercy, which transcends all earthly boundaries. Angelic Encounters, Acts chapter 12 verse 7 11. And, behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety, 
that the Lord hath sent his angel, and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. Throughout the Bible, we encounter numerous accounts of angelic interventions, demonstrating God's power and providence in the lives of his people. In Acts 12, we witness how an angel delivers Peter from prison, illustrating the supernatural assistance available to believers in times of adversity. As we navigate life's trials, may we remain open to the possibility of angelic encounters, trusting in God's faithfulness to deliver us from every perilous situation. Angelic Guidance Exodus chapter 23 verse 20 Behold, I send an angel before thee, to keep thee in the way, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. In Exodus chapter 23, God promises to send an angel to guide his people on their journey, ensuring their safe passage to the promised land. This assurance of divine guidance reminds us that angels play a pivotal role in directing our paths and leading us toward God's appointed destination. As we yield to their guidance and follow their prompting, May we experience the fulfillment of God's purposes in our lives and the realization of his abundant blessings. Angelic Protection Psalm chapter 34 verse 7 The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. The psalmist declares the comforting truth that the angel of the Lord surrounds and protects those who reverence him. This divine assurance serves as a source of strength and security for believers, knowing that God's heavenly messengers stand ready to defend and deliver them from all harm. As we place our trust in the protective care of the angelic host, may we find solace in the knowledge that we are shielded by the Almighty's unfailing love and power. Heavenly Worship Revelation chapter 5 verse 11 12 And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. In the book of Revelation, John witnesses a glorious scene of worship in heaven, where multitudes of angels join in exalting the Lamb of God. Their resounding praise magnifies the unparalleled worthiness of Jesus Christ, who reigns supreme for all eternity. As we contemplate the heavenly chorus of adoration, may our hearts be stirred to join in the exaltation of our Savior, declaring his majesty and glory both now and forevermore. As we conclude our exploration of angels in the King James Version of the Bible, let us marvel at the intricate tapestry of God's divine creation. From the celestial hosts who proclaim his glory to the guardian angels who watch over his children, Every angelic being serves a unique and essential role in God's unfolding plan. May we embrace the assurance of their presence and the comfort of their ministry, trusting in God's providence and protection at all times. Amen.